Our next guest took the country music world by storm as one half of the hit duo Steel Magnolia. Now, with his first solo album, he's finally telling his inspira inspiring and uplifting story of addiction and healing. Joshua Scott Jones, welcome to Arise. Thank you for having me. Hi, thank Hi. you for being here. So you found success as part of Steel Magnolia. Take us back to that period in your life and what made you decide that you were ready to strike out on your own ultimately? Well, I, um, you know, we had been a duo for several years and we just kind of came to a point where I had a lot to a music, I had a lot to say, and I think Megan did too. And ultimately that's what kind of led to our um, wanting to do separate projects. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and so here I am. Well, and I remember that everyone loves that song. <laughs> was it Keep on Loving You that it was out? Why do you think that resonated so well with audiences? Um, I think it had, you know, Steel Magnolia as a whole, we had a, um, a, a, a certain soulfulness about our music that kind of mm. connected across the board. And I think that's what really resonated with most people, I mean, on a bigger level. So um, I was grateful that, for that act and everything that it, it's brought me. And, and I wouldn't be here today without, without that act. So. Now, Megan was actually your fiance, yeah. and you broke up, mm -hmm. but you still tried to make the music work. We've heard that story. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny, for a while it uh -huh. was like we, were, we continued on with the music path. It was like we had a divorce, but the music was the child, so we continued mm -hmm. to stick, stick together for that reason. So it was, you know, it's a very, the, the healing, the record that I, I just, you know, I co-wrote wrote and produced, which is out June 3rd, <clears throat> it kind of talks about that and it really goes, it gets into my headspace over the last two or three years and it's a, it's a personal thing about that journey and kind of where I've landed because of, of all of that. Do you, know? you think lovers should make music together? Absolutely. You do? Do you think the music is better because of it? <laughs> Absolutely. Really? I think yeah. that, you know, there's a certain tension that we had too, you know, mm, and, yeah. which is a good thing, you know. Mm. Tension's good if, if you know where to where to put it and, and, and how to put those, take those emotions and make them artistic and put, pour that into your, into what you love to do, you know. Mm -hmm. So what was your process like when you're writing together? Is it just like after a very lovable moment, you all started, let's write a, let's write a song. <laughs> um, you know, it was, it was really natural, I think, you know, I've been a writer and, uh, you know, since a very young age. And um, so, uh, you know, a lot of times, uh, as far as the writing process goes, uh, it'd come really naturally. A lot of it was being in a duo. You try to work out, I mean, as you two probably know, you got to know when to not step on each other's toes mm -hmm. and everything that goes into the whole dog and pony show of being in a duo. I feel like that's really the challenge for me now is to take this record and um, translate from the fans we had as a duo where the energy's not going to be as much of me on stage with the banter between the two of us, mm -hmm. but now more between me and the audience, it makes it more personal in that way. And I think that's the biggest challenge and, and I look forward to it, so right. yeah. Let's what? talk about the album, The Healing. I mean, that title alone just evokes emotion and clearly if you listen to the album, you've, you've been through a lot. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really, it's a concept record and I, in 2011, I went, made a public statement that I did go into a rehab center and um, I kind of hit the brakes you know I had to take a long look at, at where I was and how I got to where I where I was and, and I kind of uh, um, everything kind of came to a, a grinding halt um, you know because of because of all that so um, I was able to just kind of like reassess everything and and this records really comes from an emotional place you know and I, I, while I was there, I wrote a song called "Just How Just How a Heart Breaks," mm -hmm. and it kind of it kind of kicked off the idea of the record and and everything. So, and you've been open before about your addiction. What was your drug of, drug of choice, and what ultimately led to that? And how dark did it get? Well, I mean, it's I didn't have a lot of discretion. I didn't. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of like a lifestyle, and I don't think that I I didn't really. <laughs> uh, I didn't look at it as um, it was just kind of how I operated. Okay, so it wasn't, it, it's not until you hit a wall and, and then people around you kind of say, hey, you know, but it, it you know, it, it, uh, it, it was years in the making, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it wasn't anything I, it was just how I functioned. So Did you have an wall? epiphany? Yeah. yeah. What was the wall that you hit and what made you decide that you wanted to change your life around? That's not how you wanted to live anymore. 
Well, I mean, you know, it's it's funny. I'm so far removed from that time in my life now because I've grown so much, and it's like I'm in just a, a different space, really. And that's what the healing is really about. But I think I walked into an intervention, to be quite honest. Uh, so it, it came that way. But I mean, it's the best thing that's ever happened to me now. And I think that's the way, you know, when you have faith and you and you um, you think you're thankful for what you've been through because that's what makes you know pressure makes diamonds. And I feel like that's what this record has become to me mm. so and do you think that's necessary to make those diamonds is to have this struggle to have this testimony to be able to write the music look I think that struggle is can be blessing in disguise mm. Mm. on a lot of levels and I think that it teaches us humility and humanity and, and everything that goes along with it and and um, I think it's I don't think it's necessary I think in the next chapter of my life I'm ready to be more lighthearted and, yeah. and fun, you know, but I think that this is the closing chapter and it's really taking people on a journey and trying to move to the next segment and, and make a smooth transition. I, I really look forward to it and I'm grateful to be here. Why was it important for you to be so honest and forthcoming on this work? Um, I feel like as a writer and just as the direction that music's going and everything like that, I don't feel like I had time to be anything but candid yeah. with this because I didn't want to you know, if you're gonna take a shot at something, you wanna do it on your own terms. Because if you fail, you want it to be your own fault, yeah. I feel like. There's no regrets. Yeah. No looking back and saying I should have. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's where that's a big part of it also. So I love the sound of your music. How would you describe your music? Because you're not only singing about like fishing holes and your, you know, your dog getting hit <laughs> by a truck. <laughs> yeah. Um, well that's funny. I, I call it country soul rock. Country soul rock. Yeah. So I mean I've, as a young artist or young person, I was just always influenced by all kinds of music. I was a sponge, really. Yeah. So it, it um, I, you know, I just love all kinds of music, and I've kind of tried to put it into a carriage that makes sense, and, and it'll, you know, everybody can hopefully enjoy. All know? right. So Joshua, what's next for you? Next for me, touring. 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 Oh, good. Taking the record and and making it, uh, putting it into a live show. And, and taking it out and, and just that's that's where the buzz is now. Through the so, buzz. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait for yeah. it and congratulations. Good luck with the healing. Thank you, Shannon. <laughs> All right. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.